This is Eugene Panrutkovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Dell Inspiron 15 3000 series 3558 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Dell Inspiron 15-3558 laptop computer. Okay, before we start, a uh, couple of things. First thing is the part number. It's uh, when you say Dell Inspiron 15 3000 series, like it says on the palm rest, it can be one of any uh, six, seven, ten different versions with different procedures and different screens. So you have to find out the exact part number. In this case, it's the 3558. Uh, Dell does not make this easy for you. It is not written anywhere on the laptop. It might be written on the box that the laptop came in, but not anywhere on the laptop. So the best thing to do is to look and find the service tag. In this case it's 7HXMC82. Using the service tag you go to the Dell website and they have a page there that you have to search on. You enter the service tag and then that will give you the laptop model number Dell Inspiron 15 3558. Okay, second thing is while we're on the bottom we need to remove the battery before we get started. And that's easy to do. Just slide this lever to the right, lift the battery up and put it to the side. We can work on the laptop now. Next thing is I'm going to go over the tools that we're going to use for this. We might not use all the tools but this is the standard toolkit. We have a PH0 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 0 is the size. We have a smaller PH00 screwdriver for smaller screws. We have a pair of metal tweezers, that's for prying things and to remove any screws that might be stuck or to manipulate cables. We have a hobby knife and that's to lift up adhesive tape. And finally we have a metal spudger and that's to pry things open. We may or may not use this tool. So the first thing we need to do is to remove the screen bezel, the plastic frame around the screen. There's no screws on it so it just snaps off. To do this you put your fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and look for a spot where you can get a good grip. In this case it's on top and just after that just lift up and out and the screen will snap off. There's also some adhesive tape so you will hear some adhesive tape lifting. So in this way go around the bezel and if you get stuck at a spot just keep going just keep going and if and find until you can come back to the spot and get to it. So this one's pretty easy actually so we'll put it to the side. Okay next to remove the screen from the screen assembly there's four screws two on the top and two on the bottom and down here and when we remove these four screws we need to keep the laptop screen tilted back a little bit so when we remove the screws there's um, the screen just doesn't fall forward on you so one two three and four okay Next, we'll grab the screen by the tabs on the top and gently lay the screen down on top of the keyboard. To remove the screen from the screen assembly, we just have to remove one connector and it's secured by adhesive tape. So we use our hobby knife to lift up the adhesive tape until we can grip it ourselves. And there's also, uh, if you can see it, there's a metal bar that we have to lift up to to release the connector. And we lift up the metal bar, and once we do that, we can slide the connector out. Okay, I'm going to slide the connector back in. Uh, when you slide it back in, you'll feel but not hear two clicks. We lower the metal bar, and the connector should be properly engaged. Okay, pause the video right there. There should not be a gap in the seams between the two sides of the connector. The two sides of the connector should be flush with each other. Okay, so we lift up the metal bar again, 
and we remove the connector and take a look at this screen. This is a 15.6 inch touch screen of the touch layer, the touch functionality is integrated into the screen assembly compared to some other models where the touch layer or the digitizer is a separate piece of glass that goes on top of the screen. So the piece of glass is actually inside the screen assembly, it's one piece. So that's the major difference between some of the models. Some have a separate digitizer and some have integrated and also some are not touched. So you gotta be very careful with the part number and with the screen that you order from it. Okay, the part number that we're looking for is B156XTK01.0. When you do order this screen, make sure it's this exact part number or guaranteed compatible part number. And this particular screen has a 40 pin connector rather than the newer 30 pin connector. So make sure it has a 40 pin connector. And the finish on this is glossy because the touch is integrated right on top. Okay, you can also order the screen from us from Screen Surgeons. We do have it in stock and we have a compatibility guarantee. We guarantee you that we'll send you the right screen and if we don't, we'll make it right otherwise. We also have free email technical support for assembly and a two-year warranty on the screen itself. Okay, to be also, when you do order the screen from us, it comes with this exact same toolkit that I use in the video. It comes for free with the screen, and we ship free priority mail in the United States. If you live outside of the United States, we can ship to most countries around the world. Just go to www.screensurgeons.com. That will be a short form to fill out to find the screen, and then you can follow the checkout procedure. Okay, uh, when you do get the screen in, make sure, as I said before, the part number it matches exactly, or it's compatible part number, and that the connector's in the right place. So then, you reconnect the connector as I showed you, mount the screen in the screen assembly, put the two screws in at the top, and two on the bottom, and then snap the screen bezel back on. This part is pretty easy, and that should do it. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrikovic. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.